All right, so then the last section of your assignment wants you to find the slope of each line. So this is directly related to the first section. <clears throat> um, in order for us to find the slope, our equations need to be in this form, y equals mx plus b. Okay, and whatever number is being multiplied with the x is going to be our slope. So if we look here, it says y equals negative 2. So it doesn't have an x in there. So because it doesn't have an x in there, um, that means that our slope here is 0. Our m equals 0. Okay, just because it doesn't have an x in there, it doesn't have a number being multiplied with the x. But it is in the form of y equals. And that's it for that one. On um, the second one, it, we have it as 3x minus 5y equals 1. So in order for us to be able to find the slope, we need to make it to look like the original y equals mx plus b. Okay, of course, we're going to have a number for m and we're going to have a number for b. And we're really only concerned about this number with m. So in order for us to get it to look like that, I need to get the y by itself. Okay, so in order for us to get the y by itself, we have this negative 5 that's hanging out here with the y. And then we also have this 3x that is hanging out here with the y also. So in order for us to get the y by itself, we need to move the 3x first before we move the negative 5. So we're going to take this 3x and we're going to subtract it. So when we do it on one side, we got to do it on the other side. Damn it. I didn't want to write. There it goes. Negative 3 <clears throat> This cancels, and then we get um, negative 5y equals, and then we're going to put the negative 3x first in the front. Negative 3x, and then this is a positive 1, so we're going to write that as a plus 1. <clears throat> that way we can get it to look like this. So it almost looks like this. But we have this negative 5 here that's in front of the y that's hanging out there. So we need to move it. Now this negative 5, since it's up there in the front with the y, um, it's being multiplied with the y. So to be able to cancel it out and move it to the other side, we have to divide by negative 5. So what we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. That means that here the 5s cancel and the negatives cancel also. So we're almost getting it to look like the y equals mx plus b. And so we get y equals, <clears throat> and since we took this side and we divided it by negative 5, we do need to distribute the 5 to each one. So it's going to be it's not ready. Oh, it turned off. negative 3x over negative 5 plus 1 over negative 5. <clears throat> and so we make sure we divide each one by the negative 5. And then now we just simplify it. So here, two negatives make a positive. So it's going to give us y equals 3 over 5x. And then 1 divided by negative 5 is just negative 1 over 5. Okay, and so instead of this being a plus sign, we changed it because a positive and a negative give you a positive. Okay, so we have to change that. Um, so now that we got it to look like this, where the y is by itself, then the number being multiplied with the x is your slope. So this 3 fifths is our slope. So n equals 3 over 5. And that's it. I'll leave the last one for you to try out.